Hello and welcome back to Let's Play All. I'm Matt and today I'll be showing you how to play Cordroy by Pearl Jam. Okay, first off, Eddie plays the intro slightly differently live to how he does on the album. Uh, but the album version goes like this. Etc. So basically you're just banking everything against this note, which is a B. Um, and it basically is a, a common note between the sort of three uh, chords or three bass notes that uh, are used. So the first one is E. Second one is A. And the third one is C. Straightforward enough. Live, he just goes straight into it. So on the album version, he starts just before the first beat. Uh, live, he just goes straight in on beat number one, like this. And it's also played with a lot more attack live. Uh, as you may have just heard. Anyway, after that you are into the verse riff which goes like this. Straightforward enough, again, it's three chords, it's F, E and G. And the only thing to note there is when you go to the G, I think Eddie just lets that ring out like this. But Mike and Stone, then they, you can hear some little noodly parts uh, over the G, which are just arpeggiations of that chord. So things like that, okay? So you can mix that up as you wish. Okay, chorus section. This is pretty straightforward. It's four chords. Um, the second one is more of a kind of passing chord, if you like. Um, so you're keeping this C shape, which you can see in the tab. The second one, then, you're just going to remove your uh, second finger. And your first finger should be on the B on the A string. So like this. Then an A and a G. Simple enough. Here's how it sounds. Two, three, four. And you're back into that intro riff. So slowly, that sounds like this. So make sure you mute the strings in between the, um, the B and the A, like this. Okay, so that needs to be nice and clean. Um, and it's all upstrokes, as you can see. Again, you can do some similar noodling on the, over the G chord. Uh, then you're 
back into the, the uh, intro section, as I say. Back into another verse. Into another chorus. Then there's a middle eight bit. You can play this on one guitar, so I'll show you how to do that. Um, but Mike plays. that. Stone and Eddie play so you can play this on one guitar and it sounds like this some awesome vocal over that bit, my favourite bit of that tune. Um, but if you just want to play it along um, like they do then you just need to play the B to the C. The um, second time round he does do a little open A, so it goes second time round. Um, for flourish, I think you need to do a bit of a windmill for that one uh, if you have the room. Okay, um, going into the next chorus after that, the, just watch out for the timing. So basically, it goes like this. There's a kind of breakdown section after this bit. I think you play four times round of that and then it plays, might be three, three or four. Which is just the first part of that. Then you've got the bass uh, and then Eddie comes back in with his. to the outro so the outro I think it fades on the record but live um, which is how um, my band Pearl Jam does it live Pearl Jam with two M's that is it's a tribute band not the real thing not yet anyway Mike goes into a lovely solo so if you do want to solo over this then you can just use the E blues or E minor pentatonic so E minor pentatonic is this Or you can play the blues. And you can noodle around like that. Um, he does lots of like... And... Loads of stuff like that. So, um... Go crazy, go wild in the aisles. And that, my friends, is Core Dry. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Bye.